My name is Steve Hodgson. I'm the general manager of the Property Care Association. We operate a trade body that looks after companies and specialists that deal with damp control, timber preservation, flood recovery, underground waterproofing and structural repair. In order to become a member of the association, um, both contractors, specialists, consultants and anybody else operating in the field must show us that they're competent. In order to do that, not only do we visit them at their premises and check out their work and, and what they produce, but we also ensure that they're properly insured and they're fully trained and qualified. Amongst many of the resources that we have within the association um, is the technical panel and the technical panel is a group of 12 individuals, all experts in their field, that provide information not only to our members but also to, to the public. Graham Coleman is a member of our technical panel and his specialty is rising dampness and, and other forms of damp ingress. He's a consultant that's had a, a wealth of experience both working for the building research establishment and in his own consultancy practice for many years. Well for our purposes we can define rising damp as water rising up through the wall, the water originating from groundwater. The water rises up via a process which we can loosely call capillarity. In other words, the wall acts rather like a wick, to put it simply. Not all properties, without a damp proof course, by any stretch of the imagination, will have rising damp. Some will, some will not. It is important to get a specialist to undertake diagnostic work in relation to dampness in buildings because one needs to understand what one is looking for. The specialist will rely on several factors, one being the electrical moisture meter, secondly being visual assessment, and the third being some degree of common sense. One of the features that people fail to recognise when they are looking for rising damp, or rather those that say rising damp does not exist, is the fact that we get these groundwater salts in the building. These are not built into the property when it was made, they are actually introduced into the property. And one of the features of rising damp, which is almost unique to this, are the presence of these groundwater salts in readily identifiable levels and, very importantly, the way they are distributed. The PCA will only accept contractors, members, surveyors who are properly trained and competent and have the right skills in order to do the job correctly first time.